At Optavia, our mission is to offer the world lifelong transformation one healthy habit at a time. The following audio contains the personal testimonials of independent coaches and clients within the Optavia community. Their results are based on the unique experiences of their journey. We cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. We hope these stories inspire you to continue your journey with or join Optavia, but please note they have not been verified and your individual journey to optimal health will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you speak with a healthcare provider in the U.S. or a doctor in Singapore and Hong Kong prior to beginning your journey with Optavia. Additionally, this audio may contain income or earning representations of some independent Optavia coaches. We cannot guarantee financial success. Success with Optavia is derived from successful sales efforts, which require hard work, diligence, skill, persistence, competence, in leadership. Optavia acknowledges that this audio may be accessible to Optavia coaches in the U.S., Hong Kong, and Singapore. For independent Optavia coaches operating in the U.S., please see the Optavia income disclosure statement for statistics on actual earnings of U.S. coaches under the U.S. compensation plan. Please note that the income disclosure statement only applies to independent Optavia coaches operating in the U.S. under the U.S. compensation plan and does not in any way constitute any representations as to actual or potential accrual of benefits for Hong Kong or Singapore coaches under the International Compensation Plan. Yours in Health, the Optavia team. So tonight we're going to be talking about maximizing your anti-inflammation protection. My name is Patty Glick and I am a I'm certified Optavia health coach. So a little bit about me. I love our support tools. As you can see, we're going to be talking about our life book, and we're gonna be talking about the habits of health. I have actually been coaching for, um, gosh, gosh, next month will be 12 years. So we're gonna start with taking a quick poll. Um, and as you're taking that poll, I'm gonna go ahead and just tell you a little bit about my story. So if we could bring that poll up, what I'd like to know is, are you an Octavia coach? Are you a client or are you a guest? My story began about 12 and a half years ago. And as a healthcare provider, I had an OBGYN practice as a nurse practitioner. I was working my fanny off. I loved what I did, but I wasn't in the best health. And so much of what this chapter is about um, with inflammation is so much about where it was that I, that I was. I was overweight, I was unhealthy, I was working long hours, I had a lot of stress in my life. I came into the program uh, through a really good friend. And my friend Lori just absolutely changed my life. My husband and I got healthy. We fell in love with everything about Octavia and we decided to pay this gift forward as a health coach. So I want you to think about what describes you the best. Are you an independent coach? Are you an Octavia client in the United States? Are you a Hong Kong or Singapore coach? Are you a Hong Kong or Singapore Octavia client? Or are you here as a guest? So take a minute and chime in. The last 12 and a half years since Mike and I started getting healthy, our life has changed. And the last 12 years that we've been coaching, just huge, huge changes. And I'm so excited to get to spend the evening with you guys tonight. And if we could remove that poll down, that would be awesome. Very good. All right, so tonight what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be talking a little bit about our habits of health transformational system. Our system consists of a life book, our habits of health book, and an app. And these three tools together, along with your coach and along with the community, I think are key to long-term success. They fuel the six inches between the ears. So just blink if you have ever started a diet and found yourself that you just stopped and you didn't know why. And in a blink of an eye, you found yourself back to where you started from. Because that was me. And that was probably a whole lot of you that are on here with us tonight. But what I found when I started and when I came into this community is I found the missing pieces of the puzzle. And for me, these tools were a really key part to that. And what we're gonna be doing tonight is talking about one of the chapters from our Habits of Health book and our Life book. So we're gonna be talking about element 20 tonight. And element 20 is about inflammation. When I think about these elements that we, we walk our clients through, we walk our clients through 26 micro, um, health, uh, micro habits of health, or what we call elements, we're gonna be talking a little bit about mindset, understanding why your immune system is so important to you for optimal health, 
being optimally healthy isn't about just being at a healthy weight. Being optimally healthy is being that best version of yourself, living your best life in the three key areas that matter most, our body, mind, and finances. It's about being able to do the things you wanna do, spend time with your family. We're gonna be talking about different skill sets. We're gonna identify where and how inflammation can be showing up in your life. And I know, even as a nurse practitioner, when I started studying as a coach, I learned even more about inflammation and I kind of thought I knew it all, but oh my gosh, was I able to learn so much. So I'm excited for you to experience this element tonight. And we're gonna talk a little bit about some action and have you really spend a couple of minutes and evaluate some opportunities that you can think about in your environment where you can help reduce inflammation. Because the things that we know is that life doesn't happen to us. It's a series of choices that we get to deal with every single day and come our way. And we actually have a lot more control over our life and our choices than we think we do. So Dr. Anderson, I'm gonna quote him in, in, in the Habits of Health book. He talks about your immune system. It's your very own personal 24 seven on-call emergency system. But guess what y'all? It also has a darker side. And when we are living a healthy lifestyle, when we're making these great choices that are gonna support us to live a best life, we're serving our immune system well. But when we get into a place where many of us were before, we're not serving our immune system well. And that's when things go a little bit haywire. So if you guys could chime in the chat and let me know what, what it was that you were hoping to accomplish by coming on tonight. I'd like to see what you guys are thinking about and where you are with that, okay? All right, why is your immune system important to you? Well, I want you to think for a minute about creating a life in balance. And that life in balance is impacted by the things that go on around us. We talk about the six key areas or the six micro, macro habits actually. And all of these macro habits together feed into each other. So everything that we do is interrelated. So things cause inflammation in our body, but things that we do and the choices that we make can actually put us in an anti-inflammatory state. When we think about being at a healthy weight, when we're making the choices that create a healthy weight for us, we're supporting and serving our immune system well. When we're overweight, we're actually causing changes inside of our body internally that are actually contributing to inflammation. And we're gonna talk about some of the consequences or sequela from that. When we're fueling our body and drinking really healthy, clean water, we're fueling our immune system in a healthy way. But when our choices aren't the greatest, y'all, and boy, that was me, probably a lot of you too, this contributes to an unhealthy immune system. When we're not active, you know that sitting actually um, contributes more to heart disease than actually our, we're finding out it's one of the leading causes of heart disease, being act, not being as active and spending time sitting. So when we're active, this is gonna to contribute to a healthy system. When we're not, kind of goes into the other way. Sleeping well, key component. Healthy mindset, stress plays a really big role. And I didn't even realize how my lack of sleep and stress as part of an OBGYN practice really was impacting my health. And I'm telling you, I can look at all six of these areas and I was a mess creating healthy surroundings and really surrounding ourselves with people that help lift us up and help us to become more and create a supportive environment. And these are some of the things that we all get from our support community. So one of the things I want to talk to you about tonight and, and just go with me for a minute, because as a, even as a healthcare provider, I realized that cholesterol and triglycerides were some of the things that impacted our health. But what I really learned through the Habits of Health system was that it was so much more than that. So I saw patients with heart disease, I saw patients who'd had a stroke, who other things going on in their life, a lot of the things that we didn't want to have. And you think as a healthcare provider, you kind of focus on the numbers and the blood work, but the reality is that that's only a little tiny part of it. Did you all know that the choices that we make impact what's going on in your immune system? 
And one of the things that happens, and just go with me a minute, we've got these little oxygen and these healthy cells floating around in our body, right? And they help our immune system to focus really well and do a good job for us. But when we're stressed, when we're not sleeping, when we're not making healthy choices, when we're spending too much time sitting, when we have those things going on in our life that mess up our immune system, it causes oxygen radicals to be released. And this causes an inflammation and more irritation within the immune system. So this beautiful system that we have that is designed to keep us healthy actually gets all wonky. And the reality is it gets on wonky because of the choices that we make and the things that are going on in our environment. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that. And it's not just one thing. It's the different foods that we do eat that are not serving us in a healthy way. It's about our external environment. And it's about the things that are going on internally, our mood, depression, anxiety, lack of motion, lack of sleep. These kinds of things all feed in together. And what they're really doing is they're taking a system that was designed to work perfectly and we're putting it into a disease state. There's a lot of different foods that cause inflammation. Blow it up in the chat with a number one. If you have ever had someone say to you, you know what, you wanna live on an anti-inflammatory diet. So don't eat milk, don't eat this, don't eat this. And they gave you a list of a couple of things. Just blow up with the chat with the number one. Let me see if you've ever come across this. The reality is it's not just one, two, or three foods. It's a combination of all the choices that we make. So the things that can cause inflammation are our calories are too high, more calories in than our body's burning, refined grains like white bread, for instance, simple sugars, okay, lots of cookies, lots of Starbucks, things like that, high fructose corn syrup, which is found in so many things, sodas, um, gosh, you gotta read the labels when you go to the grocery store, it's crazy. Omega-6 fats, saturated fats, trans fats, and overcooking and charring your protein. So it's not that one food is, is not healthy for you. Dairy is a very healthy food, but remember as we're learning in our habits of health system, it's really about the sum of all of our choices. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about some of the pro-inflammatory um, components that we see in the United States. So I love this graph because this really shows us well. For those of you who are on program, most of you are doing like a five in one program or a three in three, and you're really focusing on, on um, lean protein and, and low glycemic vegetables. Okay, look at this. This is so important. But look at the things that actually, when we look at an American diet, look at the components that most of us are eating that actually feed into creating more inflammation, right? The good news is, is that this is all about choice. We all have the choice with the things that we make. And these are the topics that we talk with our health coach all about. You've come into the program, you've come into the community, you've made a choice to make, move forward in your health, and we're gonna work with you to, to make those changes. These charts are all in um, your Habits of Health book. Okay, so you don't really have a need to screenshot them. If you look in the chapter on inflammation, it's all here. And there's even a little bit more detail than I'll go over with you tonight. But you want to really stay with some of the anti-inflammatory omega-3 um, options. And here are some great choices in terms of oils and fish and nuts and seeds and beans. And here are some of the inflammatory fats. These are the things that we want to stay away from, the oils and the margarines and the ultra-processed things, because these feed into and negatively impact our immune system. So, you know, one of the things that we like to talk about in Optivia is we like to talk about how we can take that science and how we can transfer that over into to real life and to real people and to real stories. So as I was looking at our group of coaches today and thinking about who would I want to invite to come and join. Julie just popped into my head and I'm so glad she was available. She's got an amazing story, you guys. And I want you to just sit back and listen. We've talked a little bit about some of the science. We talked about how we can take an un, a healthy immune system and how by the choices that we make in our life, 
can create an unhealthy immune system. But the good news is, you guys, we all have a secret weapon and we all have hope. And that's called the Octavia program. That's called the Habits of Health System. So Julie, if you'll go ahead and come off mute, and I'd love for you to just share your story with everybody. Well, hey, I'm just so excited to be on tonight, everyone. Thank you, Patty, for the opportunity to just get on and share my story. One of the things that was really, that's really important for me tonight is that I can say something that's gonna resonate with, um, with someone out there who may be struggling to make a decision for their life to um, know that there is hope, the hope that Patty was talking about. So um, my story actually starts um, a little over a year ago. Um, I'll paint the picture for you. We were in Disney World in, with our family in Orlando. And um, I have four kiddos, as you saw in the picture prior, and my husband, and we were all at Orlando in Disney World. And I was excited for this trip, but it realized once we got there, I was spending a lot of time in very long lines. And in those lines, I kept thinking about when I get to the front of that line, am I going to fit in the ride? And I had gotten to a point in my health where I was well over 300 pounds and I was really struggling. And all of those things that Patty was talking about with the infl inflammatory foods, that was the main source of my diet. And so I'd made a decision when I was on that trip that I didn't want to live like that anymore. I was done, but I didn't know how to fix it. I had tried every diet in the book, just like so many of you out there. Um, and I didn't have a lot of faith that there was anything that was really going to work for me. My mindset was not strong. I was, um, I pretty much was in victim mode um, a, lot of, a lot of the time. So I did try and go down the path of having a gastric sleeve. So I went um, the medical route and trying to see if I could get um, surgery that would, that would fix it, that would just take care of it. And um, as I was working on that and I got myself on the schedule for surgery, my health coach, Claire Stowell, reached out to me. And she talked to me about this program and I was not open to it, but I ended up asking her if I could just try it for, my, for a month because my surgery was only a month away. And she said, yes. And so I said, okay, I'll try it for a month. That was my last ditch effort. I can check that off the list. I did that. And I could go into surgery with a clear conscience that I had tried everything. Well, what I didn't realize is that my life was going to change dramatically. And within the very first week, I noticed huge changes in my health. Um, I noticed huge changes in my weight. I, um, I found a system that was very easy to follow and simple. And it was so simple that even I could do it. Do you know what I'm saying? Even I could do it. And um, the thing that really changed me the most was learning through the habits of health and the transformational system. It was like air to me. And I just absorbed every bit of that information. And I grew just exponentially. My mindset changed. Um, my, my health was, was improving. And um, I ended up canceling my surgery three days before I was supposed to go in for the procedure because I believed so much. I said, I have to see this through. This is incredible. And I'm so glad I did because now I'm over 100 pounds down and it has changed everything. But I do want to share something um, that is very near and dear to my heart. And I don't share this a lot because it's something that's kind of personal to me. But I wanted to share this tonight on the topic of inflammation. So while I was in this cycle of habits of disease and eating foods that were really bad for me, um, I also had looming in the back of my mind that I have a diagnosis of MS. I was diagnosed with MS when I was um, 26 years old. So there was always that little gnawing at me that I wasn't doing. I wasn't behaving well. I wasn't doing what I was supposed to in order to give my body what it needed. But the chasm between where I was at mentally and the behaviors that I was, I was involved with as far as being unhealthy and getting to where I needed to be was huge. It was huge. So I didn't really know how to get out of this big hole that I had dug myself in. Um, and the habits of health and the simplicity of the fuelings 
changed everything for me. You know, one of the things that what happens if I have an MS flare up, I go to my neurologist and they, they will typically treat me by, with steroids because I need to bring that inflammation down to give my body a chance to get better. And I knew very early in when I got my diagnosis at 26 years old, I read a lot of material that, that controlling my inflammation is essential and so much of it could be done through quality nutrition. And so I just wanted to share that because I feel like I am really giving my body such a fighting chance to be the very best I can be and do the very best that I can do. And I have absolutely um, loved putting that oxygen mask on through this program and helping myself and then paying it forward by becoming a health coach and serving others. Because I know that by helping other people along their path, that I'm only going to make myself stronger. And so I just, that's my story. And I'm, I'm really grateful that I had this opportunity to share it. Thanks, Patty. Awesome. I love that. And, you know, it's been so much fun all along the way to just watch Julie blossom and just come to life. And she is an absolute joy. You know, I started thinking as, as I was preparing for tonight, you know what, our habits create our situations, but sometimes we just feel so stuck and so powerless to be able to know what to do. And that is one of the things that I've really found a lot so helpful with this community. You know, I think about the choices that we make, you know, we're talking here about inflammation. And, you know, as I'm talking to my, my clients and, and I'm visiting on some of the concerns that they have, you know, we all want to live a better quality of life. We want to be present for our families. We want to be able to be active and enjoy and live live healthy without taking a bunch of medications and to be able to get out and do what we do, right? The choices that we make though can have a negative impact on that. And it's so much more than your weight. And when we look at the choices that we make and when we get into that inflammatory state, it impacts our blood vessels and impacts our joints. I remember I'd come home from the office and my hands hurt because as a gynecologist, you're using your hands all day long with everything you do. And they used to just ache. My back ached, my knees ached, my feet were sore, my hips were sore, just from being on my feet all day long, right? And I realized how quickly all of that went away. It's because I put my body back into a place where it was designed to be and to be healthy. We know that inflammation impacts our brain. We know that it increases our risk of cancers, of stroke, of cardiovascular disease, of Alzheimer's. It in fact impacts our GI system, kidneys, our eyes are endocrine. It really impacts every area of our body. And sometimes we feel hopeless that we can make a change, but the reality is we can. And we can create that change when we're in the right community, surrounded by the right people, getting the right support, getting the right answers. And that's what our community is gonna do. So let me give you some food tips here. Nix the barbecue, guys, okay? We know that when we cook, um, foods on the barbecue and really char them all up there that it releases and I had to write this down it releases advanced glycation end products I had to practice saying that y'all and what this does is this actually raises your LDL okay so find some healthier ways to cook we want to um, stick with omega-3s low glycemic fresh fruits and vegetables and you're going to find some great charts on that in the habits of health book Stick with lots of high fiber, avoid reusing oils because of the changes that happen chemically, and to cook with lots of herbs and spices as opposed to lots of sauces, which can contain a lot of high fructose corn syrup and a lot of hidden calories, okay? There's a lot of external causes of um, inflammation, okay? And internal things as well. Chronic infections, visceral fat, when we're overweight, this impacts our inflammatory system and the way it works. And so being overweight is one of the biggest things that we can do. So it's not that we need to eliminate milk or a particular food from our diet. We need to have make overall the choices that are gonna support us long-term. Overuse of antibiotics because it decreases uh, the, the healthy bacteria within our gut. Lack of motion. I'm standing up talking to you tonight. 
because I try to stand up as much as I can, right? Sitting is not a good thing, right? Sedentary lifestyle and our mood and depression. Depression and anxiety can be a really big thing. I, you know, and I don't know how many of you have noticed this. Chime in with the number two in the chat. But did you, have you noticed since you started fueling your body in a healthier way that your mood actually got better? That you were a little happier? Maybe a little less anxiety, things like that. See, they all feed in together, right? All right, so let me give you some tips. What are some things that you can do that can really help you long-term? Yoga, great for relaxation. It shuts down your brain. You get to stretch, you get to move your muscles, you get to work on your core. Meditation, being in gratitude. When we can put ourselves in a space up here where, where, where we're working on the calm, we're not letting all of the external forces come in and just bombard us and all the things that we have to worry about. Dr. Anderson says, turn off the news. All it does is make you crazy. Catch a little bit on what's happening, but spend some time taking care of you. Because when you can take care of you up here, you can take care of you throughout. Get out and be active. Enjoy the sun. Enjoy the fresh air. We're coming into fall. I'm in Boise, Idaho, where the leaves are starting to change, and it's so pretty. Um, go natural with a lot of the things that you can do. Um, uh, treating your body. Massage. For those of you who are on weight loss, we're always thinking of some things that we can do to reward ourselves. I think massages are really great. We really get our blood flowing. It works with our muscles. It's a great way to relax. And it's a great way to reward yourself for the great choices and the progress that you've made. Laughter releases a lot of hormones in your brain. It's great. And being around a positive community that is uplifting. Y'all are part of a client support page and community. Don't you love going there? It's positive. It's giving you a place to be where you can avoid all the negative stuff going on around the world. Causes of inflammation externally, chemicals and toxins, um, stress. Oh my God, that was my biggie. Allergens, you know, watch your sun exposure. Make sure you're wearing um, your really healthy sunscreens um, and avoid ex excess um, radiation, the things that you can do externally. Some environmental tips, okay? Try to, live, try to avoid or try to be in a space where you can have fresh air to breathe, get out, take a hike, get moving, get your lungs going, avoiding exposure to a bacteria mold, you, mold using some special filters, really looking at clean water, um, so important for your body, noise pollution. So what are we doing? And some of you, like I'm thinking my sister lives in New York City, total noise pollution but she spends a lot of time doing yoga. She spends a lot of time with meditation. So what can you do to help kind of quiet, just quiet the noise going on out here? Avoid extra antibiotics. And when we talk about your lawn and closet, think about how can you go organic and clean. Doing a lot of pesticides and herbicides bring chemicals in, which are toxins for your body. So um, if you do need to, to spray, try to limit that and try to go more organic. Take your shoes off when you come in the house so that you're not bringing those things in and try to avoid any of the plastic bags from the dry cleaners um, when you're in your closet because they release chemicals. Okay, so just some common everyday tips. So let's kind of close things up today, all right? Which of these actions will help you to reduce inflammation? So let's see what we got here. Eating more anti-inflammatory foods and avoiding processed foods. Choice two, practicing healthy motion. Choice three, managing your stress and emotions. Let's see what you guys can come up with here. Okay. While you're thinking of that, we're gonna get ready to move on. What kind of actions will you take as a result of this element? Do we have an answer to the poll? We do, yay, look at you guys are so smart. You were paying such close attention or you've been memorizing your Habits of Health book. Right, eating more anti-inflammatory foods, 58%. Practicing healthy motion, 
That's a really big part of it, 16% of you, and managing stress and emotions. Absolutely. And you know what? The answer, it was kind of a trick question because the answer is all of them. Remember, it's the sum of all of our choices. If we're eating healthy, that's a key component. But the healthy motion goes along with it and the stress and, and managing our emotions go along with it. And if you think about what we're all about, we're about creating health in the areas that really matter most, right? Body and your mind. All right. So if you can go ahead and chime in and give us some feedback, our biggest desire is to be able to show up and to serve you. So my question to you is, did you find this helpful? And did you enjoy our time together this evening? Excellent. Give me an excellent. Very good, good, below average or poor. So just pop in a rating and uh, let's see what we got going on here, you guys. All right. So I want to remind you to tap into the Optivia text. If you tap Optivia 30 to 99,000, um, you will get a text reminder every afternoon on Wednesdays, along with some other great little stuff here and there. Um, and those are really great reminders because you know what? Life gets busy and we may not remember to calendar this. So um, go ahead and text that over. And if we could take down the poll, that would be great. So with that said, I'd like to invite you to come and join us next week. We're going to be talking about maintaining um, your, um, your weight and optimizing your health. And uh, one of our partner coaches, Lisa Castro, is going to be um, presenting next week. And she's got an amazing story. And I think you'll absolutely love her presentation. So make sure that you come back around. At Optivia, our mission is to offer the world lifelong transformation, one healthy habit at a time. The prior audio contained the personal testimonials of independent coaches and clients within the Optivia community. Their results are based on the unique experiences of their journey. We cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. We hope those stories inspire you to continue your journey with or to consider joining Optivia. But please note that they have not been verified and your individual journey to optimal health will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you speak with a healthcare provider in the U.S. or a doctor in Singapore and Hong Kong prior to beginning your journey with Optivia. Additionally, this audio may have contained income or earning representations of some independent Optivia coaches. We cannot guarantee financial success. Success with Optivia is derived from successful sales efforts, which require hard work, diligence, skill, persistence, competence, and leadership. Optivia acknowledges that this audio may be accessible to Optivia coaches in the U.S., Hong Kong, and Singapore. For independent Optivia coaches operating in the U.S., please see the Optivia Income Disclosure Statement for statistics on actual earnings of U.S. coaches under the U.S. Compensation Plan. Please note that the Income Disclosure Statement only applies to independent Optivia coaches operating in the U.S. under the U.S. Compensation Plan and does not in any way constitute any representations as to actual or potential approval of benefits for Hong Kong or Singapore coaches under the International Compensation Plan. Yours in health, the Optivia team.